there was no evidence to support the president's claim that President Barack Obama offered uh, wiretapping of Trump Tower. Presenting Sounds of a Lemon. All of your favorite hits from five-time winner Worst Journalist of the Year, Don Lemon. Hits such as Black People Pull Up Your Pants, Teeth Are a Weapon versus Rape, and White People Are Out to Get Me, Kyle's Got a Gun, and The Two-Finger Shuffle. Find these and more in Sounds of a Lemon, the worst journalist of all time. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. You know, how the old saying goes, if you can't say something nice, well, then don't say anything to your boss while you're demanding a Cybertruck $5 million in the first podcast in space. I think that's how the saying goes. And the old adage that I've followed my entire life, and that's why I live a happy life of meaning and purpose professionally, uh, and Don Lemon does. Because Don Lemon did exactly that. Don Lemon spit in his boss's face. Spit literally in the face of the most powerful man on earth, arguably Elon Musk. Like he can, he controls space, right? He controls all like the militarization of space. Elon literally does this. Cr cr he's the richest guy on earth. He owns X. And Don Lemon spit in his face during an interview, insulted the man over and over and over again by bringing up conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory. And, and and literally personally insulting Elon Musk, demanding that Elon Musk watch his show, saying Elon Musk is stupid and uninformed, whilst asking Elon Musk for Equity Next, $5 million, a Cybertruck, and the first podcast in space. Elon Musk canceled that deal. Don Lemon screamed and said that, was a, that those demands were fake news. Turns out that Don Lemon was lying, something that he does professionally for a living. Uh, not only is that real news, they literally have the paperwork. Here, at the Daily Mail, here at the paperwork of Don Lemon's demands. So Don Lemon lied about his about his demands. Uh, the other thing is that Don Lemon demanded that there were $10 million on platform marketing. So they marketed his show. And we now understand why he was going to need to do that, because Don Lemon's show is failing. Don Lemon demanded the free boosting and marketing. He also demanded to have oversight over any other creator on the platform. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? The hell? We love X. We've never asked Elon Musk for a penny. Free speech is priceless, as far as we're concerned. Um, and we have a million more followers than Don Lemon. So who's more powerful? Well, I could tell you this. Tucker is, actually. Tucker Carlson, who regularly makes fun of Don Lemon. Uh, they're both on X. They both had three episodes they both had three episodes. Tucker had his third episode, obviously, uh, a while ago. Here's how the show's performed. Uh, episode three of Tucker on X had over 100 million views, 106 million to be exact. Episode three of the Don Lemon show has 76,000 views. Uh, that is not good. This is this is not great. Don Lemon's show is dying. <laughs> Average views per episode, episode one, two, and three. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. This is not, not a great trend line there. That's a, that's a shit coin. Okay. That's a, that's a crypto shit coin right there. That is a, that is a, that's a scam is what this is. That's a scam. That's a fraud. Elon Musk actually responding to our executive producer, ALX, when he reported out the news that Don Lemon demanded a podcast in space. <laughs> Elon Musk laughing. <laughs> uh, Don Lemon showing a tailspin after being dumped by Elon Musk. Nobody is watching. Let's go ahead and read. We can't help ourselves. Don Lemon's new online show is grappling with a fast shrinking audience after he was unceremoniously dumped by Elon Musk. And the pittance in revenue may not even come close to covering the cost of his bare bones productions. <laughs> Former CNN anchor who demanded millions of dollars in a spy, uh, for flight and SpaceX and Cybertruck suffered a massive decline in viewers for the second episode of The Don Lemon Show. Nobody is watching, one media watcher told The Post. Poor Don. He doesn't realize that people watch the first interview because of Elon, not him. The amazing thing about narcissism and nihilism, ladies and gentlemen, is that you actually do think the entire world is about you. And when you were struck with, uh, when you were struck with this condition, man, there it's really hard to come back to reality. Maybe this will do it. I doubt it. Watching the Elon interview reminded everyone of how much they dislike Don Lemon. Oh no! Yikes! Uh, Lemon's second show with tech journalist Kara Schwisher, whoever the hell that is, posted on X and YouTube, uh, garnered less than two hundred thousand views, respectively. 
fraction of the views, the Musk interview. His third, his third episode, though, really fizzled and um, has done, uh, well, qu quite, quite poorly, actually. Let's go ahead and check. Here's uh, episode three of the Don Lemon Show. We're looking live here of Monique. Oh, okay. Monique. Nobody want to hear from, I mean, the everything's everything's burning in the world and there's a bunch of wars and bridges are exploding. And all I see is Don Lemon with the graphics package of a closed circuit cable access cooking show from the 1990s, but I'm talking like 1991, okay? Not 1998. Here is Monique. I mean, there's really, there's no, there's nothing, nothing more prescient than Monique. This is Monique. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you, Monique. Oh, all right. Here's, here's more Monique. Look at these, look at these graphics. I mean, really, like, it, it sucks you in, right? Like, like you were operating MS Paint during a Windows 98 uh, reveal with with Steve Ballmer. Look at the look at this shot. Look at the shot. I love how she blows her nose on camera here. Here's, here's the guest. She like looking and squinting at the camera, and then she blows her nose on camera. Well, I'm just clicking on random points in the video. Oh, this has less than a hundred thousand views. Less than a hundred thousand views. Nobody's watching you, bro. How long before the show gets canceled? Can't wait to see how little views this one gets. <laughs> Your only hope is to get Cat Williams. I'm just gonna leave this here. Nobody's watching. Hello, surprise. Talk about how racist Elon Musk is. Timestamp. <laughs> here again to read the comments. Won't tune in, fam. But thanks. Wow, only seventy-two thousand views. <laughs> just here to check the lack of views. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm a lemon. Just here to check the analytics. <laughs> There's not a single. Okay, here we go. Here's the, I scrolled through 20 comments. I love your show. Keep going. Okay, got it. All right, got it. This person with a thousand followers. Okay, okay, gotcha. All right, good job. Good job, everyone. So Don Lemon is failing, and that brings us a, a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. Don Lemon's ratings collapse after the Elon interview. Yeah, I mean, he goes from a mil millions of views to 8,000 views. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Don Lemon show is dying. Uh, there is nobody watching. I love these graphics. And... Um, it's pretty funny. Elon Musk responding and kind of trolling Lemon. Lemon's demands were indeed beyond absurd. His team is just trying to do damage control. They lied, literally lied. And the new trend is to post a photo of you with an orange to show that it will get more views than a lemon. And in fact, this did get more views. This is Ashley St. Clair got 3 million views. Let's see here. Our executive producer, ALX, did the exact same thing. Here's ALX. ALX posted this. This is good. Ha! <laughs> Almost 300,000 views. For ALX in a X hat and a SpaceX shirt with, with a, uh, a Revolutionary War flag behind him. Who will get more views, this or Don Lemon Show? Well, we know now definitively that this actually got more views. Miss, Miss Dawn Light uh, is seething and crying because ALX with an orange got actually three times the views that Don Lemon's third show got. Ooh, ooh, man. Uh, the reason why the first episode actually went viral is because of Elon Musk, not because of Don Lemon. And this moment is my favorite moment without question. When Elon Musk actually gives Don Lemon a education about world history and the history of slaves around the world. Ooh, spicy, a spicy meatball. Elon Musk liked our tweet about this. Let's go. I think, I think we should, we should, we should, we should uh, not, not make this a constant uh, subject. I think we need to move on. I think we just, you know, um, treat people like people. You 
don't agree that there's this country was founded on racism and founded on slavery and, and in many ways inequities. Um, that still continue on to this I day. think every country uh, at, at that time, and I think even today, uh, was uh, extremely racist. Um, every country. Um, and um, obviously, uh, uh, slavery was present in uh, about half of this country. Um, and no, but not was not present in the in the uh, north. Uh, there was racism for sure, uh, but you know, the I, th I think we 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 want to look to the future rather than the past, um, and uh, instead of engaging in uh, constant rehashing of the past, uh, because it, it, in, in fact, if you look at history, if you study history broadly, everyone was a slave. Everyone. Yes. Well, okay. not everyone was a slave. No, but everyone was a slave. Okay, but <laughs> we, we we are we are we are all descended from slaves. Yeah, well, all of us. Yeah. But, um, so, but it's just a question of when. Is it, was it more recent or less recent? That's it. Right. Um, so the but what what future do we want? Do we, we are. Want, is this something we want to make a part of our constant dialogue forever, or do we want, do we want to say like let's just move on and treat everyone, uh, you know, uh, according to just who they are as an individual. I agree with you with that. That's the ideal. But what the evidence shows is that that's not what's actually in practice. I think we're doing better than anywhere else. That, that's true. I agree with that. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean a lot to a whole lot of people who are able to take advantage of the opportunities that you are able to take advantage of simply because of the color of your skin. Well, what, advantage, what, what advantages did it do? My color of my skin give me well, there's a certain, there's an ease that you have in society that you, that many people of color don't. You were able to come to this country voluntarily. There are many people who were not able to come to the country voluntarily. There are people Actually, who I, came here as slaves. Me to come here. And there is a legacy of slavery that still continues on. There's a legacy of racism that still continues on in this country. That's, and that's undeniable. Well, if, if, if we keep talking about it nonstop, it will never go away. If we keep making that the central thing, it will never go away. Well, why do you believe that? I think I'm just making a simple statement of fact. Um, so, I think, I think we want to get away from making everything a race or a gender or whatever issue. And just treat people like individuals. Mm -hmm.